The scaffold hitch. Hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's little exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the scaffold hitch. Now, the idea of the scaffold hitch is, well, first of all, let me show you a picture here. This is courtesy of the International Guild of Knot Tires Surrey branch. And this is basically what it's for. It's for suspending a plank, so probably a swing or something like that. If you want to suspend a plank, then you would probably use the scaffold hitch to do it. It's not a permanent way of suspending a plank, it's a temporary way. And when we actually look at this particular setup here, what we've got on the, around the plank itself, we've actually got the scaffold knot, and or the scaffold hitch, sorry, should I say, and then tied off onto that, we've tied it off with the bowline. Now you can use whatever knot you want at this point here to tie it off. I've just demonstrated it exactly the same way as that picture there. And you can see here now, when we have this tied around our plank, it's, uh, to be honest, it's really, really secure, providing the weight is being pushed downwards. If you actually put weight along the length of it, obviously your plank will slide out. So anyway, let's get on and tie this. And sorry, just before we actually get on and tie this, what I'll do is I'll show you that this can also be put around a pole as well, should you need to use it on a pole. So anyway, let's now get on and tie ourselves the scaffold hitch. Okay, so here in front of me, my cribbage board, as it is today, is the plank that we want to suspend or the swing that we want to suspend. And so if we're making, just remember, this is not a permanent um, solution to a swing or something like that. It's, it's a temporary thing, simply for the fact is that the, the actual hitch itself can fall off either end. Okay, so as you can see, in front of me, I've got a length of cordage. That is my working end. And what I'm going to do is just move my working end over to the right hand side there. And then now... All I'm going to do is lay my cordage across the top of my plank for my swing or something like that. And now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is get my working end and just bring it around and over the top. So you can now see we've gone over the top twice on this one. And then that, all we do now is go over the top and then we now have three passes over the top of our rope. The next thing that I want to do is, and this is so simple, I get the left hand one and I pass it over the centre one so we end up with both our lines running off. So that's going to my standing end and that one there is going to, that's going to my working end as such and it's crossed over at that point there. And what we just want to do is just turn it over and just make sure it's crossing in the middle, that's all. That's all we need to do. It's not too important. You can dress it up at the end as well if you want. So now the next thing that I do is I have moved that one there from there over to that point there. The next thing I do is I get hold of the left hand one again and I just pull through, just pull through some excess. So we end up with a loop at that point there. And then once I've got that loop there, I then pass it over these two here, one going to my standing end, one go to my working end, pull it over and then bring it around over the end of my plank at that point there. So you can see now I've now, so all I've done is I've taken it from the left hand side over the end of my plank and passed it down at that point. And then just push it all back nice and snug and then you pull it up nice and tight and now that I've pulled it up nice and tight as I turn it over you'll see that at the top piece here is where the two cords are crossing and then bring it back to the other side at this point here and we can pull it up nice and tight and then the final thing to do is to tie this off at this point here so you tie it off at that point there so that you can suspend it and tie it. You don't necessarily need to tie it with the bowline. All I'm showing you today is the scaffold hitch with, it, with that bit there. You can tie this off here with your particular favorite knot. So if you know the imitation slip bowline or something like that, 
tie it off with that, see how it works. But today's little exercise is the scaffold hitch. So right, what we've done is we've tied this on a plank and you can see now here that plank can be suspended and if we had one on the other end, which we don't have, we would have a swing. Okay, so how does this work on a round piece of um, wood? Well, let's have a go. So once again, working end here is going to the right hand side, standing end is coming down towards me. And all I'm going to do now is get my pole and I'm going to go round once, bring it over the top. So we can see now we've got two passes at that point there and then come round for a third time and there we have it, three passes over the top of our pole. Like in the previous one, the next thing I do, I get hold of the left hand one and pass it over the middle one. Now that I've passed it over the middle one, I then take the one that was the middle one but is now the left hand one and just pull up the excess, pull up the excess like so, form a loop at that point there and now all I do is I get hold of that loop there, I pass it over these two here over the end of my pole. So let's go ahead and do that, pull a little bit more excess through. So you can see now here, going over the end of my pole, pull it up nice and tight, and there you have it. We've got ourselves a nice secure scaffold hitch around the end of our pole. And once again, we can tie this off, tie it off at this point here. Say for example, like I said before, with the bowling or something else, your favorite knot, and then we can suspend this. And to be honest, you can swing off this to your heart's content, but just be aware, the, the pressure has to be parallel going that way, okay? If we put any form of force on the other way, it can slip. So just be aware of that. But anyway, there we have it. That was today's little knot that Johnny learned, and that was the scaffold hitch. So once again, thanks for watching. Please do share this video because it does help the channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye.